What's up guys? It's Sydney and this is your 45 minute full body workout. So grab your dumbbells and let's get started. Welcome to your 45 minute full body workout. I'm so excited to have you here today. We're gonna go ahead and get started with your dumbbell setup. Make sure you have water and a sweat towel while I'm showing you kind of what dumbbells to use. Okay, so today for my dumbbells, I'm gonna stay between eight and probably my 25, maybe 30 pound dumbbells, but somewhere kind of in the medium range for myself today. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little bit sore. So if you're like me, just pay attention to your body. Feel how you feel safe. If you start to get into a move and it feels like too much, you can't get full range of motion, drop to a weight that feels good for you. Okay, we want to make sure on the days that you're sore, the days that you're tired, that you still stay safe and you stay injury free and you still get a good challenge. Okay, so I'm with you. If it ever feels like, wow, oh, she's never sore, totally sore today, but we're going to rock it together. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the warm up before you head out today. If you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe right below the video and let's keep growing stronger together. All right. Okay, give me a big wide stance. We're gonna start with a windmill. So arms straight out, you're gonna hinge, tap down in the middle and stay down in that hinge position and just rotate. Okay, two, one, let's go. Good, so we'll get a little hamstring stretch in here. A little torso, back. Good, three, two, and one, come back into the middle. Let's widen your feet out just a little bit more. Go side to side. Straight leg, bent leg. And you can put a little pressure on your hands here. Take some of the weight off your legs. And where you want to feel this one is kind of like inner thigh area. We're also activating your muscles here, so make sure you're pushing off that bent leg side. Two, one, good. Slowly roll it up. And we're gonna go back to the back of your mat, inchworm to runner's lunge. So we walk it out, get into a plank, runner's lunge, open, and back. Okay, let's keep that going. Three each leg. Good job, you've got 45 seconds of work today. And we're gonna go through each exercise twice. Okay, we've got a little circuit style. And we'll play, kind of like a Sydney says, at the end of each circuit. So exercise four in each circuit of four will be kind of like a quick reaction balance exercise. So lots of fun today. All right, come down, walk it up into your toes. Good, roll it up slowly. Give me some butt kicks, just standing right here. Oh, those quads, hello. <laughs> Good job. Good, four, three, two, one. All right, cross your arms over your chest. Big open. Great work. All right, back to the quads, just for a second. I want you to grab, pull, okay? Grab, pull. So a little calf raise on this side will help you pull a little bit more. All right, I'm gonna grab optional some light dumbbells here. We'll jump into your first move, okay? These are gonna be for a heel elevation. Not mandatory, okay? But we're gonna do a single side loaded squat. So I'm gonna have my heels optional on the dumbbells. One side has the dumbbell, okay? So I'm here, stand. All right, we'll go together in six seconds for 45 seconds, okay? All right, dumbbell in one hand, two, one, sit and stand. And if you're not doing the heel elevated, same thing. There we go. So the point here is to make sure that as you're squatting in this loaded position, one side is loaded, you have your core to hold you in nice and tight and straight. So your core is kind of fighting against the load here. Nothing super heavy, we're just focused on the core. Good, let's go for three, two, one. Great job. Now I'm gonna grab my 15 for a plank row, just one side. Just one arm, 
okay? So I'm gonna go right arm first, row, put it down, okay? Let's go in two, one, here we go. Optional modification, drop to your knee, just one arm, okay? Great job, so stabilizing your core, you will have a little bit of an inevitable hip open here. But we wanna do our best to eliminate as much of that as we can. Good job. There you go, eight, seven, four, three, two, one. Good, keep that dumbbell in that same hand and we're gonna take it back in a sit up. Okay, you're gonna sit up and press. So I had the dumbbell in my right hand. Same thing here, okay? Sit up, press. All right, two, one, let's go. Right at your chest, press. Good work. Let the dumbbell fight against you on your setup, and then press at the top. And round number two, we'll just take it to the other side for everything. Beautiful, 10 more seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Dumbbells completely out of the way. We've got to sprint and stop, okay? You listen for me to say right or left, okay? We're gonna sprint, I'm gonna say right. You stop here. I'll say go, you go again, okay? Ready, let's get going. So you're sprinting, high knees, you're not looking for impact today, you're here. Okay, just marching, and left. Go. Left. Go. Right. Go. Good job, keep it up, keep it up. Left. Go. Right. Go. Good, give me some speed here. Left. Go. Right. Go. Right. Go. Two, one, rest. Good job. Last round of heels elevated. Front squat. Okay, I'm back to my 20. Last round I actually started with my left hand, so I'm gonna go over to the other side. Okay, here we go. Two, one, sit it down. Good, core maintains a straight spine. You do still, even though your heels are elevated, you do still wanna sit your hips back and come back up. Great job. Last 15. Push, push, push. Five, four, two, one. Rest, great job. All right, now last round I rowed with my right arm. Now I'm gonna go plank row with my left arm. Okay. All right, here we go. Two, one, let's row it out. Get a little tripod stance going here with your hand and your two feet. Good, big strong squeeze in your back. Keep your ribs pulled in. 10, nine. Beautiful, three, two, one. Great job. 
And I didn't even realize that I didn't go down to my 15 on that one, but I'm going to on my sit up here. Okay? So swing it, same arm you just did your rows with. Sit up and press. Two, one, dumbbell on your chest. Let's roll, push. There you go. And then we'll go back to your sprint pause or sprint stop. Beautiful. Get some resistance on your abs. That's how they get stronger. That's how we build that core muscle. The core group of muscles, I should say. Five, four, two, one. All right, dumbbells out of the way. Sprint, I'll say left. Stop on your left. I'll say go again, you go again, okay? Here we go. Four, three, two, one, let's go. Left, whoops, that's my right. Go, left, go, good job. Come on, quicker, 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 right. Go. Right. Go. I need you to stick that landing. Left. Go. Right. Go. Left. Go. Left. Go. Come on, sprint for five, four, three, right. And rest, great job. Grab some water. We're gonna go Romanian deadlift with a pulse. I'm taking my RDL, or my deadlift. We're going in RDL. RDL, starting with my dumbbell in my left hand, okay? My right foot stays on the floor. I'm gonna go down, pulse, come back up. Options here. You can hinge, keep that back toe down, then pulse it up, or you can take the full deadlift, lift the heel, then come back up. Okay, ready? Let's go, 45 seconds right here. This is all about control. Great job, focus. Keeping your knee out towards your pinky toe. Remember yesterday, your pinky and your knee were besties, right? Knee stays out. So what I mean by that is when you go down, don't let your knee swerve in this way. It stays outward here. That back leg just goes straight back from your hip. Two, one, rest. You've got a chest press. Single arm, so I was holding with my left arm. I'm gonna do the same thing in a chest press. Left arm, chest press. Okay, I've got my 25. Let's go here in two, one, let's go. Good, now if that feels good, advancement option, go into your bridge. Keep the core stable. Great job. 15 seconds. Beautiful. Seven. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, now I'm gonna take one of my five pound dumbbells. Okay, we've been rocking with the left side. I'm gonna clamp it between my calf and my hamstring. I'm gonna go windshield wiper to the right. Okay, so when I stack my legs up, that dumbbell clamp leg is on top. Ready? Let's go. Good. You wanna step it up from here, release your hand. Middle, side. Great job. You're taking your knees from right in the center 
Over to the ground. You notice my ankles are off the floor too. Good work. Seven more seconds. Over, pull. Two, one, and rest. Now, remember what we just did with your high knees. Okay, I said left, go. We're gonna do the same thing in a mountain climber, okay? So I'll say left, go, okay? Let's start your mountain climbers in two, one, here we go. Right, go. Left, go. Left, go. Good job, come on. Right. Go. Keep it up, come on. Left, go. Right, go. Come on. Left, go. Left. Go for four, three, two, one. Breathe. Beautiful job. Romanian deadlift again. So last round I held it in my left. Okay, I was here. So now we're just gonna switch that. Hold it in your right. Leave this leg down. Okay, let's go. Focus, good job. No need to rush. Keep your ribs pulled in. Something I find often when I get out of balance, I go down and my ribs flare out. Keep them pulled in here. Beautiful work. Almost there, four, three, two, one. Rest, keep it in the same hand. We're going down for a chest press. You're coming up into a bridge if you can. Okay, if you're ready for that. The whole point is just stabilization and single side upper body work. Okay, so ISO work, let's go. Keep it around your chest, especially when you have just one arm working. It can easily kind of sway over here on the side. Take it down, punch. Don't let your chest roll over as you lower that dumbbell either. Keep it straight. 15 seconds, good work. Come on, press to the ceiling. That's it, four, three, two, one. Great job. Clamp that light dumbbell in your other leg. If you would like, you don't have to. If you wanna go just body weight, you're just taking your knees here, over, and back to the middle, kind of like a windshield wiper. Okay, just, just add some extra resistance. Let's go. Great job. You're just rolling over onto your glute, basically just rolling from glute over to side glute and back. 15 seconds. Four, three, two, one, rest. Kind of like the reverse of a Russian twist, right? All right, mountain climbers on command. Whew. Mountain climber, let's get them going in four, three, two, start your climber, let's go. Listen for me to say left and go and right and go. Left, go, right, go. Now when I tell you to pull your knee in, I want you to pull your ribs in too. Left, go, right, go, right. Go, come on, come on, come on. Speed it up a little bit. Keep that butt down. Left, 
go. Right. Go. Left. Hold for four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. Grab some water. Two circuits down. Moving on to circuit three. Okay. Beautiful job, guys. We're gonna go into lateral lunge, knee drive. Okay, I'm gonna take it to my left, holding a dumbbell here. I'm gonna go lunge, pull back in, knee drive. If you need to stop in the middle, then drive, that's okay. Okay? So, full speed, looks like this. You're taking it out, drive up. Okay, and then right back out. Let's go in two, one, here we go. Big push, squeeze. See how it's really easy to go this way? Squeeze, stop here, sit again. I want your knee straight out from your hip. If you're not good with the lateral lunge, give me a staggered squat. Here, stand and freeze, okay? Good work, 10, nine, three, two, one. Great job, drop this heavy dumbbell. I'm gonna grab a 10 for a lateral raise. Okay, we went to the left. I'm gonna take left side, knee that was just driving, and go here. Ready? Let's go. Focus here. And if you need to tap down every now and then, that's okay. But the natural inclination as you lift, your body wants to transfer the weight over here, but we've got no foot over here to support. So you really have to pull in here, stay here, no matter what's going on over here. Great job. Seven, six, four, three, two, one. Now, take this knee. I want you to clamp a dumbbell behind it. And we're going into a plank. And you're just gonna hold this knee. Tap, pull, tap, pull. Optional dumbbell, of course. If you're not ready for the dumbbell, just get it out of the way. Touch the knee and pull it up. Let's go. Tap, pull. I want you crunching. When you tap down, I want your knee to be right under your hip. So not up here under your chest. We're way back here. I want it to be straight line down from your hip, pull up, crunch to the chest. Good job, 10. Three, two, one, rest. Okay, grab that dumbbell. Move your dumbbells out of the way. We're going for a lateral slide. Okay, lateral shuffle. When I say stop, you're gonna stop right where you are and give me baby hops, okay? So we're shuffling, shuffling. I'll say stop. And then go again in the same direction you were already going. Ready? Let's go. Stop, go, just keep moving. Stop, go. So the point here is you switch directions. Okay, stop, go. Keep moving. Stop, go, come on. Stay moving here, five, four, Three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. We're going back to the lateral lunge and knee drive. Okay, this time we're lunging to the right. Left hand has the dumbbell. Driving your knee up right here. Two, 
move one. Let's lunge. There you go. Freeze and squeeze. Good. Pull the ribs in, I promise you. If you get this down right here, everything else is so, so much easier to follow suit. Eight, seven. One more, three, two, one, rest. Great job. Lateral raise with our right hand. Right leg is off the ground. Whew. Great job. Okay, take this leg up, two, one, belly button in, ribs in. Now, you'll notice I just tumbled over there. So much importance lies in the lowering speed. Okay, so don't just get it up and slam it down because that also will throw things off. Good, I'm fighting for it too. Good job, 15. Five, four, two, one, rest. Put a dumbbell right here in this knee if you would like. Okay, if you wanna not have the dumbbell, you can just tap knee down and lift up. All right, here we go. Plank position, three, two, one, let's go. Touch, pull. Even when you drop down, make sure you're not letting it drop and letting your belly do this, right? You wanna keep this pulled in no matter where your knee is. Good. Come on, 15 seconds. Good, focus, four, three, two, one, rest. All right, now lateral slides. The direction that you're going, when I say stop, I want you to just balance on that foot. So if I'm going to the right, I say stop, you're gonna balance on the outside foot, okay? Let's go in three, two, one, here we go. Stop, go. Stop, go. Stop, go. Stop. Go, 15 seconds, come on. Good, just give me a fast shuffle for 10. I won't make you stop anymore, just give me some speed. Eight, seven, come on, four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing job. Whew. All right, give me the dumbbell in your left hand. Right foot stays. We're gonna go curtsy lunge. Knee drive curl, okay? Stop here if you need to. Then we're gonna go straight back into that curtsy lunge. Okay, so if you have your dumbbell in the right hand like, or in the left hand like me, right leg stays. Three, two, one, let's go. Sit, knee drive. Keep your hips facing forward. Curtsy lunge, it's easy for people to wanna open up here. I want you to stay here, and then sit. Good, pause at the top, go again, pause. Good, think of the power, good. Nine, eight, four, three, Two, one, 
Rest, good job. Now I'm gonna take a tricep kickback weight that I can do with both arms. So I'm gonna go with my eights for this one. My curtsy lunge leg is gonna stay here. That's it, we're here. Two, one, let's go. Tricep kickback, single leg. If you need to tap down, feel free. Okay, if you just wanna stagger, have that assurance of your foot back here, that's okay, all the weight needs to be in your right foot. Good. Got about 15 more seconds. If your glute's on fire, I feel you. Minus two. Almost there. Good work. Nine, eight, five, three, two, one. Whew. Great job. Light dumbbell. Goes in your left knee. We're gonna lay down for bicycles now. Clamping here in your left knee. You're going here, in, here, in, here. This guy stays right here, okay? Two, one, bring the other one in, cross to the weighted. Now, if you feel good about that, you can give me a heel tap with this foot, that's okay. But I don't want this to release, okay? Good job. Four, two, one, rest. So much unilateral work today, and I'm so proud of you. Come on back up. We're starting quick feet. When I say left, you're gonna go forward stabilization. And I'll say go again, we're back here. So you hop forward a little bit. You don't feel comfortable with the forward. I just want you to pause on one foot. Let's go. Left. Go. Right. Go. Left. Go. Come on, fight for that balance. Right. Go. Left. Go, come on, come on. 15 seconds. Left. Go. Right. Go for four, three, two, one. Beautiful job. Curtsy lunge and knee drive. We're back. Okay, you're doing great. We're keeping the left leg down. Dumbbell is in my right hand. My curtsy, knee drive, pause. Let's go. There you go. If you've got to fight for the balance, fight for it. That's okay. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, two, one. Rest, great job. Tricep kickbacks. Whew. Now we keep the left foot down. Kicking it back with both arms. The left foot stabilizes our whole body. Okay? Yes, I know. My glutes are burning when I do this as well. Let's go. So again, it all depends on control here. If you're going back and forth, this is gonna be a lot tougher to stay. It's tough anyways to stay. Fight for it, good job. Think of all your toes reaching out to the floor. Connecting with the floor. The arch of your foot reaching down to the floor. Your heel trying to push through the floor. Belly button is right over your knee, ribs are tucked in. Two, 
one. Great job. Woo. Okay, bicycles with the leg clamp. Now we're clamping right leg. I'll grab my sweat towel here. Okay, so you keep this leg here the whole time. Ready? Bicycle it out. Let's go. Come on, you're strong. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Come on, come on. Nine. Three, two. One, rest. Whew. All right, quick feet in the forward pause. All right, so we start here. Listen for left and right. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. Quick, quick, quick. Left, go. Right, go. Right, go. Left, go, come on, come on, come on. Left, go, right, go. 15 seconds, come on, just give me quick feet. 15 quick, come on, come on, come on. Eight, seven, quicker, five, four, three, come on, two, one. And rest. Grab some water. And we're rocking into your last circuit. Can you believe it? Whew. All right. Two rounds of an exercise in a row here. Crisscross right leg stabilization is your first move. Okay? We're going to go crisscross right, right. Crisscross two right hops. Okay? Just the right leg. Ready? Two, one, let's go. Good. Low impact. You go here, you're gonna cross, out, stabilize. Down, cross, out, stabilize. Down, okay? Beautiful. 15 seconds. You're not going to stop. You're just going to go right to the other side. Five, four, three, two, one. Rest. Same thing. Three, two, one. Crisscross. Over here to the left. One, two. Good. Good, a little bit of cardio endurance. Beautiful job, come on, 10, nine, four, three, two, one. Have a seat, seated around the world. I'm gonna take my 10 pound dumbbell. This is ambitious with my 10, okay? So five, eight, 10, somewhere in there. I'm going over my right shoulder. Here, front. Okay, just the right. Ready, let's go. If you feel good about it, lift your heels up. If not, keep them there. Keep this lean back position. Great job, 15 seconds. You know what's coming. I'll give you a five second mercy break and we switch to the other side. Two, one, 
drop your feet, big deep breath. Four, three, go outside the left shoulder now. Two, one, let's go. Think about creating a big circle around your head. Try not to hit your face like I just did. There's no reason for that. Ow. 15 more seconds. Eight, seven, six. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Rest. Flip it over into a plank position. We're going shoulder tap, push up, and open up. Your left arm does not leave the ground for the whole time. Here's what it looks like. Push up, shoulder tap, lift. Okay, ready? Let's go. One push up. Tap your left shoulder, open up to the sky. Kneeling, it's the same exact thing. Push up, tap, open, okay? Fifteen seconds, come on! Woo. Seven. Three, two, one. Keep it going, same thing on the other side. One push up, tap the shoulder, open it up. Come on, show your strength here. I know it's tough, I know your arms are burning, abs are tight, let's go. Twelve, eleven. Good job. Six, five, three, two, one, and come on up. We're going high knees lateral. I say, go. You're going down for a burpee. I know. This is rude. This is rude of me. Let's go together. Three, two, one. We move side to side. Right here. Go! Go! Come on, just keep moving here. Go! for five, four, stay here, three, two, one, rest. 15 seconds rest. We do this one more time and that's it. Challenge option is to come up out of that burpee with one foot, okay? Here we go, three, high knees, two, one, let's go. Good, go, so what I mean, you go down, come up, and just keep going. Just a little tiny added incentive. Go! 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 Come on, come on, 15, 14. We're in it together. Go! Go! Three, two, one, and you're done. You've made it to your cool down. Oh gosh, come on down to your hands and knees. Whoa, great work. How did that just happen? I feel like we just got started. All right, sit back over your heels. Reach over to the right side, stretch, stretch, stretch your ribs, your obliques. 
Walk it over, same thing, to the other side. I'm very proud of you today. Way to go. Come on up, chest up, drop the hips down. Way to work today. It's one of those workouts you really had to focus in, so I hope that this was just everything in your world for 45 minutes, right? So much going on with everyone. And I know there are times in our life where we are just stressed, man. We just can't get out of the stress. We're like, this is a lot on my plate at once. And I know you can handle it. I think deep down, we all know we can handle it, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating that you're stressed, right? Sometimes we get stressed about being stressed. We're like, we don't wanna feel this way. So I know that happens, trust me. Tuck your toes down, lift your hips up and drive your heels to the floor. Let's stretch your calves out. Whatever's going on in your world, know that here for 45 minutes, I hope you just zoned out and just focused on you. You're giving, 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 and likely the reason that you're stressed is because you're giving so much, right? Walk back to your toes. I know you, I know your heart. You are a giver by nature. A lot of us are. Slowly roll it up to the top. That's more than likely why you're stressed. You're waiting to kind of find the relief, right? Pull your left heel to your glute. You wanna give, you wanna do your best. You want this opportunity. You wanna make sure everything goes right. You wanna do what gets you closer to your goals. You wanna make people happy. I get it. <laughs> I do the same thing. Go ahead and switch legs. But I do know that at the beginning of the day, I wake up and I say I'm really, really grateful for my life. It doesn't have to mean I'm grateful for a perfect life. It doesn't mean I'm grateful for a life that is stress-free. It doesn't mean that I'm grateful for a life where everything is all together and perfect. Cross your arms over your chest. Although we wish that were the case, it's not always like that. But I know without a doubt I'm grateful for my life, for being able to wake up. And I'm never one to say, well, it could be worse. It could be this situation. That's not fair. Everyone's got their own situations going on. So don't ever compare. Don't say, I shouldn't feel bad because someone else is dealing with some tough stuff, right? Don't discredit your feelings. Don't mark off your feelings in comparison to anyone. Just say, you know what? I'm grateful for life. And start there, okay? And likely the ripple effect will occur. You wake up, put two feet on the floor. I always tell the Sydney squad, the two feet on the floor thing is a big deal for me. Where I was shot two years ago, I couldn't put two feet on the floor for about six months. So minimum, I'm grateful to open my eyes. I think of my brother, I miss him daily. I think of him and I know he would love to be able to be here. So I'm thankful to be able to be here. Okay, not to take it to a super emotional standpoint, but we've gotta think of, wow, we get a chance at the day. We get a chance at this 24 hour period. We're awake. That's a miracle in itself. We put two feet on the ground, another miracle. Now, let's dive in and see what we can do great with this day. We're thankful for the minimum waking up, standing up, breathing, being able to smile, right? You wanna give me a quick smile? No, okay, you can just laugh at me, that's fine. But all these things we kind of forget about sometimes with the weight of the world. So I just want you to pause for a second. Give yourself a smile. <sighs> Breathe, give yourself a hug if that feels good and just be grateful for life. Not a life that's perfect, not a life that's stress-free, not a life where you've got it all together and everything is seamless and flawless, just life. Just that you're here. And I'm so glad that you're here. I know a lot of people are so glad that you're here. I'm really, really happy that you're here. Hope you never forget that. I hope that's never mistaken. People love you. I love you. I show up every day for you. Whether or not it feels personal, every single person that shows up here each day motivates me to show up. So know that you have that purpose, okay? And whatever your day looks like, I promise at the end of the day, you can look back and say, I'm grateful to at least have been able to have that opportunity of a day. Okay, so go on through your day today. If you're just starting in the morning or if you're closing out your day, look back and pull something positive, something, even if it's just life. Okay, I love you guys with my whole heart. You mean so much to me. If no one's told you yet today, you're incredible. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Don't forget before you head out today, if you wouldn't care to do me a quick favor and make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you're finished and then subscribe to our channel and we can keep growing together, all right? I'll see you back here tomorrow, deal? All right, have a good day. Bye, guys.